What's up, my name is Technip, here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to get and max out your Steam Awards Nomination Committee 2022 badge on Steam. What exactly is it? Well, if we head across to the Steam Store page, you'll see that there's currently the Autumn Sale going on. But if we scroll down, you'll see Nominate Your Favorite Games in the 2022 Steam Awards. In here, we'll see the award and nominations are open between November 22nd and 29th, 10 a.m. PST. You'll also find a link to this page in the description down below. All we need to do is scroll to the very bottom past all the voting sections to learn about the badge. We need to nominate at least one game, play a game we've nominated, nominate a game in each category, and finally review or update a review for a game you've nominated. There's four tasks for four different levels and we get XP per level, 25 each, adding up to 100 free XP. Which games can you nominate? Any game that was released on Steam after the 2021 autumn sale, which ended December 1st, 2021. And of course, games that weren't previous year's winners. So all we need to do is navigate across to this page and we can start getting our reward. For each of these different sections, we'll be clicking nominate. Otherwise, if you see a skip button, you can click this as well. So let's start by nominating a game for any one of these categories. Let's go better with friends and maybe power wash simulator. There we go. We've now nominated a game and it appears here. Of course, you can search for games as well, though for some reason, say game of the year, I'll search for Warzone. I'll click nominate here. And for some reason, it doesn't activate. Maybe it's just broken for now. But anyways, if searching for a game doesn't work, simply just pick one off the list and it should activate and give you the first reward level. Then we need to play a game we've nominated. If you've gone ahead and filled all of these out, simply fire up a game that you like if you have it installed and if you've nominated for it in any category. However, However, if you don't have any of these games installed, you can use third-party software like Steam Achievement Manager to emulate launching the game itself. For example, I'll come over here to the Steam Achievement Manager project, I'll click the latest release here, download the zip and extract it to somewhere like my desktop. We'll need both of these EXEs, add the DLL into a folder here as such. Then we can open up Sam Picker and choose a game from the list. It should populate with your Steam games in just a moment. Then all I need to do is look for the game that we voted for. So I'll click anywhere and type in Power Wash in my case. There we go, Power Wash Simulator. You will need to own the game or at least it should be a free game that you voted for. If you haven't voted for any free games or any that you own, you'll need to change it temporarily to a free game pretend you're launching it and then change it back to whatever your original vote was. When we find the game here, double click on it and click run. Now we should be able to manage achievements for this game. However, that's not what we're trying to do here. Instead, if I pull up my chat, you can see I'm now playing Power Wash Simulator. Great. So I can close this, close Steam Achievement Manager and delete the files off my PC. If we head back here and refresh, you'll see play a game you've nominated is now ticked. There's our second set of points. Nominate a game in each category. That means we just need to fill everything out. And finally, review or update a review for a game you've nominated. So I've nominated Power Wash Simulator. I'll need to search for this game or click the icon here, scroll down and leave a review. It's great and wet post review. And yes, if I refresh the previous page here, you can see we've now got our third reward and all that's left is to finish populating all of these categories here, skipping ones if they don't apply to us. All right, voting for pretty much random games. I'll click skip here next to the VR one. And just like that, scrolling down to the very bottom, you can see we've completed all of our tasks. If we open up the badge in a new screen, 100 XP, all four tasks are complete. And there we go. It's done. And with that comes the end of this quick guide video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobahir for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.